let's just say you have a honeybee hive in the ceiling between between the uh, floors in a two-story house and for whatever reason you figure you know it might be easier to kill them than to have somebody come in and remove the hive let's just say that for a minute there's your entrance hole by the way so the honeybees pardon me i'm trying to get up in the ceiling here so the honeybees aren't there anymore to maintain the temperature of the comb keep everything alive their larva mainly so uh, you've killed the caretakers of the house you left the house wide open for parasites wax moths wax moths come in and they build little cocoons for their babies this is a wax moth larva there's thousands of them in here they dig into the wood see that these little divots in the wood that's from wax moth larva so then instead of removing honeybees calm and honey I get to come in here and scrape all these wax moths out takes longer costs more plus when I'm done you have to have a pest control guy come in here and spray because those wax moths don't just stay right here where the comb was they go under the insulation and way down there you see there's more right there and way down there up against the up against the floor joist all along there so moral of the story don't kill the bees <clears throat> or you may end up with a problem like this that's all live larva mm. let me show you what these wax moths do looks like it's just a cocoon sitting there but once you peel it off this whole thing <clears throat> is loaded with hundreds hundreds of these wax moths you see that they dig these little grooves up in the wood and sometimes like there they get up in the wood very very destructive some of these are getting ready to hatch out make more this was going to be a disaster in sh short order where are you going